Hi everybody, welcome back to Cece and Lulu. It's a special day today, it's Q&A time. That's right, you sent in your questions and we have answers for them. <laughs> We're not only just answering the questions you asked, we also found a really cool tag called the YouTube interview tag and it's all about kind of why we started YouTube and just kind of about our channel and so we thought that that'd be kind of fun to answer those questions too, kind of getting to know us. We're coming up on almost our one year anniversary of starting YouTube. So in February last year, we posted our first video. So it's really exciting. We'll have to do something fun for our first YouTube video anniversary. So let's get right to it. So question number one, why did we start a YouTube channel? Well, actually it was her idea. <laughs> She's been wanting to do it for several years and has kept talking about it and really wanted to start it. And so I said, you know what? If you want to do this, I will do it with you. We can do it together. And it'd be a fun mother-daughter time together. I really fell in love with watching YouTube videos a couple years ago and I just thought that's something fun that I could do at home even with my illness and stuff. It's something I could do as like a fun hobby. But I was too nervous to do it on my own. So finally Cece said, let's do it together and it'll be something fun that we can do and it won't be quite so overwhelming or scary doing it just all on your own. So we did. Yes, and we have we have not looked back. It has just been a blast. Yes. We love doing it together. We've had so much fun. So question number two is how did it feel to make your first video? And we were both pretty nervous and we actually made some little cue cards and kind of wrote out like a script almost of what we were gonna say and we kept rehearsing it together. Question number three how did we come up with the name Cece and Lulu? Well, actually, Cece and Lulu are not our given names. They're our childhood nicknames. Mine was given to me by my cousin, and she's been called Lulu ever since she was born, really. So it just felt natural to name it Cece and Lulu. And I was already thinking if I was going to start my own channel of naming it Lulu's Life or Life with Lulu. And so we kind of got to talking about that and still using Lulu. And then she had the nickname Cece. So it just works and we think it's a cute little name. So our next question is from a viewer. It's from Terry Wheeler. And it says, you girls are so precious and beautiful. Looks like you enjoy each other's company and have a close relationship. Very <laughs> true. <laughs> What is your favorite thing about each other and what keeps your relationship close? Well, thank you, Terry, for the compliment. But I'd have to say that um, my favorite thing about Lulu, well, there are several, but she's my baby doll. Um, but she has such a sweet spirit about her and she has Jesus living within her, which uh, I contribute that sweet spirit too and you know she is so beautiful on the inside she just has inner beauty and yes she is beautiful on the outside too but I told her all growing up that it doesn't matter how beautiful you are on the outside it's the inner beauty that counts you can see somebody that looks absolutely gorgeous and as soon as they open their mouth they aren't so pretty anymore so she is beautiful not only on the outside, but she's beautiful on the inside. She has Jesus living within her heart, and she just has such a sweet spirit about her. Well, thank you. You're welcome. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'd have to say my favorite thing about Cece is, this is hard because there's way too many things <laughs> to list. <laughs> We'd be here all day. But she's just always mm -hmm. been such a huge support and really been there for me. Just kind of like my number one fan and with my illness and stuff, she was willing to do whatever it took and go as far as you could go and then some. She'd always just fight for me and advocate for me and always be there for me and she still is just with everything in my life. She's such a huge support and she's just always there. And I really appreciate just how dedicated she is as a mother, but also my best friend. She's just always there to help lift me up when I'm down. Well, thank you. <laughs> we didn't know what each other was going to say for this. Yeah. So, <laughs> As far as what keeps us close, do we always get along? Of course not. <laughs> what two people do, no matter how much you love each other. We have disagreements, yeah. but 
in our hearts. We know how much love we have for each other. Just really enjoy each other's company. We're a lot alike in many ways, but we're also quite different yeah. in many ways. Where she's a little uh, really kind of quieter and a sweeter <laughs> spirit, and I'm kind of outgoing and boisterous. But we just really complement each other, our personalities do. As far as keeping our relationship close, I'd have to say compromise and just being dedicated to each other and being there for each other and um, supporting one another, supporting each other, and just not taking everything so personally, just knowing that the other person has your best interest at heart. But I think too, it just comes naturally for us because we do love each other so much and we are truly best friends. I mean, we talk on the phone all day, every day almost sometimes, even when we see each other in the day, we'll still call and talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. So question number five is, do any of your family and friends know about your channel? And if so, are they subscribed to your channel? <laughs> so this is kind of a funny one because also with us using our name as Cece and Lulu, we kind of wanted to keep it a little bit private so that um, people couldn't just look, up, look us up because we were very nervous and not knowing how it was going to turn out. So we didn't really want Wanted to keep it on the down low. Yeah, <laughs> and just kind of have it be our decision whether we want to tell a certain person or not. So it's not something that everybody just could automatically find. And actually, we are really um, just starting to tell people now within the last month or so. Um, we started telling some friends, mm -hmm. friends from church, yeah. um, just our personal friends. Yeah. Because we just wanted to see how well it went over, if it was just going to blow over, or if it was going to become popular. We did. We just didn't know what to expect. Yeah. So now we're starting to tell people. And so our immediate family knows about it because we film, We have filmed their children in the past, my nieces. But um, that's another thing also. Since we have been taking off, one of my brothers asked to not have his kids in the videos anymore. And so that's understandable, and we totally respect that. And our That's why our Christmas video only showed our one granddaughter yes. opening up the American Girl doll classroom yes. stuff because our, my other son did not want his children filmed. As far as our family and friends being subscribed to our channel, I'm not really sure. I do know, though, that our two um, older 11-year-old granddaughters are subscribed, and they just watch our videos over and yes. over again. And I know my one daughter-in-law is. But other than that, I'm just not sure, really. Now, we did happen to run into an old friend um, at a grocery store, I think it was in the summertime, and she came up to me and said, oh my goodness, it's so good to see you, and I love your videos. Your videos are so wonderful. I love watching your videos. So that's that was, I don't know how she knew about it. Um, we're on Instagram and Facebook, too, so maybe through Facebook she saw that we had videos. So I think they're starting to catch on a little bit that way too. But that was fun. Yeah. So for question number six from Dana W. She wondered if there are any more Disney trips coming up and if we'll be making any more crafts. And I'm sure it's yes to both. I know there are for more crafts and sewing because we have those in the works already. But as far as a Disney trip, we don't have that planned anytime soon. I don't know, Lulu's 30th birthday's coming Art. up in July. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe she and I will do something together, maybe, I don't know. I think we're planning on going somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where that will be. Yes. But stay tuned for more craft and sewing videos because those definitely are coming up. Question number seven is, do you allow your subscribers to send you gifts or mail? And right now we don't have any P.O. box open or anything like that. But we would definitely consider it if people are interested and want to send us mail. If you're interested, put it in the comments section uh, that you would be interested in us having a P.O. box to send us mail. And um, we'll definitely take that into consideration. We have talked about it. Okay, for question number eight, it's how do we choose the topics for our videos? And actually that is a very interesting question because Lulu has her likes and I have my likes. Mine tend to be the crafting, sewing, and hers tend to be more like makeup and girls stay out type things. So that's where the compromise comes in. We've, we have to find a happy medium of doing some of each to keep us both happy. But we also want to keep our viewers happy. So um, 
Yeah, we actually have just had a discussion about this recently about how to really incorporate both of our interests and we decided that really our channel, what sets us apart and why we started it is because of our mother-daughter relationship and that's kind of different than a lot of other channels that we've seen or anything and we are really doing this together and so from now on we're going to try and be in each video together so that'll be a fun new thing kind of coming up and seeing I'm going to be getting works. her sewing and crafting yeah <laughs> which she does like I some do. of that not yeah. to the extent that I do so I do a lot of DIY things for like around my house and mm -hmm. stuff she so. does a good job thank you <laughs> so question number nine is do you prefer filming alone or with other people in the room so obviously we film together that's our preference but also I think it's kind of if we go out in public, it does get a little bit... It can be uncomfortable. People, yeah. people staring at you if you're filming. Yes. <laughs> so that is something that's very different. You don't really think about. and But I think it makes it easier, too, because we are together in public. So I'll just be kind of pointing the camera at her. And it's not like you're alone just holding up the camera and talking to yourself, which... That, that would, would be almost, awkward. That would be <laughs> very hard. I don't know how people do it all the time. But I think you honestly just get used to it because I feel like we have gotten better about filming, filming in public, just not feeling quite so nervous about it. So question number 10 is from Deborah Diarman, and she is a very faithful subscriber. We love all of her comments and sweet words that she leaves for us. And her question was, how long have I been married? And I am actually... 29, about to be 30, like Cece said earlier, which throws so many people off. A lot of people think that I am like 12, 13, maybe 16, 17. <laughs> and I am about to celebrate my eighth wedding anniversary with my husband. We got married in 2010. And so that's coming up soon, and it's very exciting. And this girl is married to Prince Charming. Yes. <laughs> she was introduced, they were introduced to each other by um, mutual friends. She was actually at, we were at Cleveland Clinic getting her diagnoses when um, her husband-to-be uh, started calling her and asking her out. And from that day on, I remember the first time he came over, I sat him down and I said, listen, <laughs> she is a one sick gal. You have to make sure she has plenty of water, plenty of salt. If she's going to pass out, you have to put her feet up and give her water and salt. And he was like, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> I thought I might scare this guy off, but he has to be aware of what's going on. Yeah. And, um, and he never looked back. Yes. Uh, he took the bull by the horns, literally, and just took care of me ever since he met me. He would come over every single day to my house, every single day, for a whole year. I think he only yes. missed two days, and he could tell you which days they were. <laughs> and he would come with me to help get her to the doctor's, and if she couldn't walk, he would carry her in yeah. to the doctor's office. So he's just a fabulous young man. We love him like a son. And I and my husband have been married this year. It'll be 40 years. So mm -hmm. that's unbelievable. I can't believe that. But 40 wonderful years. So for question 11, it's does anyone think that we're crazy for being YouTubers? And actually, no, I wouldn't say they think we're crazy. But when they find out that we have a YouTube channel, they, they're like, you what? Really? Yeah. You guys have a YouTube channel? Yes. Everybody <laughs> reacts that way. Yes. Just kind of shocked and surprised. <laughs> And then they check it out and they like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and question number 12 is from Trudy Thomas on our Bronner's video on our the world's largest Christmas store. And we love that place. Her question is, is this place open all year round? And yes, it is. Bronner's is open like 363 days a year. Or I think it's only closed on Christmas Day and Easter. I'm not quite sure, but I think that's about it. So it's very fun. Sometimes we'll even go in July or something and celebrate Christmas in July or it's just fun. It's a really a fun store. Fun. <laughs> so for question 12 from Shopping Girl, um, wondered if she could come shopping with us at Bronner's next year. And actually, um, we were talking about possibly having a meet and greet if our channel gets bigger. I, we'd be interested in having a meet and greet session somewhere, maybe near Frankenmuth or in the Detroit area, that would be a lot of fun to meet some of our fans. Maybe at a fun mall. A lot of people have asked if they can come shopping with us. So it'd be fun maybe at like Somerset Mall in Detroit or whatever. Yeah. Um, meeting our viewers. 
Yes, we would love to meet you guys. So if you're interested in doing something like that, comment down below and let us know. Question number 13 is from It's Julia and she asked, how many American Girl dolls do you have? So I'm thinking she might be asking me because I've shown my dolls in quite a few of the videos. And I don't have any. No. <laughs> and I have three. I have Samantha, um, Kit, and Lindsay, the very first girl of the year that ever came out. So those are my three dolls. And Shopping Girl had mentioned something about my older dolls might need to be restrung. And that is very true. They do. They're very loose. But I tell you what, they look brand new. Other than just being loose, their limbs being loose, they look brand new. Their hair is in great condition. And I loved my dolls. I played with them all day, every day. But she took very good care of them. I was pretty insistent that the kids take good care of their toys when they were young, and it really shows her yes. things are in really good shape. But also, they have changed the texture of the hair on the new dolls from the American Girl doll brand. And I have been up in arms about it because the hair is just, you take it out of the box and before the child even hardly touches it, the hair is a mess. And that just to me It's is, almost plasticky. Yes. And it just gets so tangled, you can't even get a brush through it. It's... I'm so upset about it. <laughs> and her doll's hair is like real hair. Human I mean, hair. it's really nice it's hair nice. for the money. Too bad they didn't stick to the nicer hair. Yes. So for our very last question, it's what have we gained by starting our YouTube channel? And I have to say, I think that it's our relationship has gotten even closer. Mm -hmm. um, we've just spent even more time together and... Uh, it's really um, helped us to compromise even further. And um, it's also been a real learning experience. Yes. It, is, it is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But the end result of what you guys see, a 7 to 20 minute video, could take us days to film. Like getting everything ready and uh, just doing all the filming and then... Lulu does all the editing. She does such a fabulous job with that, but that is a huge job in itself. And um, then getting them posted and all. So it really is hours and hours behind each individual video. Yes. It's so much fun. And we've also um, enjoyed hearing all of your comments and everything. And we just really have enjoyed... Um, such a positive response from our viewers. Yes so many positive comments and yeah. just such a wonderful overwhelming response and it just makes us want to keep on going yes so if you have any special requests of what you'd like to see i know um, lulu really wants us to do some um, makeup um, videos like and like beauty videos and that type of thing so we're going to be trying our hand at that as well with our favorite products and all. We'll just see what we come up with with that. Yeah. So um, don't forget to leave com in the comments section any videos that you'd like to see from us. In it. And if you have any other questions for us, we'd love to hear them. So thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed getting to know us even a little bit more and about our YouTube channel. And thank you for asking questions. We had fun answering them. <laughs> yes. Remember, you're a priceless beauty, and we love you guys. Have a great day. God bless.